Hey, good evening everybody. Wife's in bed, kids are asleep. You know what time it is. It's time for some aqua porn. We're here on day 16 of the 46 gallon marine build. And my brain is pretty much jelly right now. And this is what the video is going to be about and we'll go over why. Uh, <clears throat> but a couple things first. Everything's going great. The plumbing, the sump is working awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that sump though. I got some great ideas to make it a little more workable. I can't get my hands in there. Uh, I can't get the skimmer going and uh, it's just not working but I got some great ideas and those will come up on some future videos on how I'm gonna make that tight area of the sump down there work a little bit better for me. Um, day 16 I don't believe I'm cycled yet, but my test results are saying that I am. On uh, day 14 on Tuesday, I was getting a zero reading on ammonia and a zero reading on nitrite. And I'm about 20 to 40 ppm on nitrate. So I know there's a cycle happening in there. And that's about two to three weeks earlier than I had expected. Um, I'm not ready for this tank to be cycled yet because I'm in the process of doing my LED build uh, for lighting for this tank. So I don't really know what to do right now. So I threw some of the extra pieces of rock I had in there. I've been putting some fish food in every day just to try to keep the bacteria alive. Uh, I still don't think I'm cycled. I don't know what could be going on because I, I have no sign of any diatoms. Now that could be because I don't have any light going on in this tank and this is in my office where I keep the shades closed most of the time and it doesn't receive any direct lighting. So that might be helping with the fact that I don't have any diatoms yet. But that just seems a way too fast for me to be, be cycled in this tank. Uh, but Tuesday night I threw some fish food in there, tested again yesterday on Wednesday. Um, still zero ammonia and zero nitrite. Threw the rocks in there on Wednesday. Threw a whole cube of fish food in there hoping to get a spike. I'm still reading zero so I'm gonna wait a day or two let that food break down a little more before I throw anything else in there uh, and see if I can get some type of ammonia spike going. Uh, my brain's jelly right now because I've been working on my LED build. I pull out a little bit here. That's going to be the LED hood with a microcontroller is going to be situated within that hood. Looks a little Frankenstein-ish right now, but it will be painted. It'll look good uh, when it's done. Got 48 LEDs on this tank, which will be more than enough. Uh, four different color channels. They'll be connected to 12 different pins on my Arduino build and that is what's stalling me right now and why I'm panicking that this tank is cycled because this LED and microcontroller aren't even anywhere close to being complete. Um, so this is my laboratory. Uh, I've got all my electronic gizmos out here and I just wanted to kind of go over my controller so I can get a good shot of it. Um, this is based on the Arduino uh, Mega. This is going to be my home screen. It's going to have a temperature readout all the time and it's going to give me my pH readout all the time as well. Uh, clock is the only thing that's working on this controller right now. Uh, if I, it's all touch screen. I've been drawing my little screen so if you hit the fish it'll go to my menu screen. takes a while to focus I apologize but this has all my touch screen buttons uh, LED temperature this is going to be my uh, 8 channel relay it's going to control all my outlets this is going to be the pH screen down here is the setting screen where I'm going to be able to put notes and reminders have this thing flash when I have to do maintenance uh, that type of thing and then the home button 
So let's start out with the LED screen because that's where I'm at right now. Brings up my LED screen. And as you can see, I'm going to have current weather. The w I'm going to have weather program in it. And it's going to state here in the yellow if it's sunny. And then it'll have a picture of the sun underneath. Uh, lunar phase, it'll tell me if it's a uh, full moon, new moon, uh, waxing crescent, waxing gibbons, what have you, and then a photo underneath as well. Uh, I'm going to have a coral acclimation mode uh, with the red is going to be off, touch it green, it'll be on. Basically what that'll do is the, the program will run a routine where it'll lower the overall lighting by 35% and then just increase it by 1% every day for 35 days until it comes back on. On the left hand side are just my basic controls for each channel I have. White color channel, royal blue, blue, and then I have a, a ultraviolet, actually it's called a pure violet, it's not a true ultraviolet uh, LED. But uh, this is what's been giving me the headache today. It's just uh, just one of those days when I've been sitting here banging and pro trying to program this thing and uh, it's just not working out so I decided to shoot an update video show everybody where I'm at I'm getting the screens going to where I can get back to home back to menu back to LED and then if I just want to step back to menu hit the little one over here and get me back to my menu screen I'm sorry about the camera. The lighting behind me is really do, doing havoc with that. But uh, I am not a software engineer. I'm not an electrician. I uh, just dove into this. The interface for programming. My little box of tools. And kind of just search everything up and banging away at it. Just trying to get something uh, a little special for the build. Uh, right here that's my LED drivers this is six channels um, each channel is one amp output and it'll handle an input of 6 to 30 volts I'll be running 27 volts on each channel so that'll be more than enough to power my LEDs at one amp um, what I've decided to do is I've got two of them here one on the bottom one on the top so that'll give me 12 different inputs and then that way I can control on the tank sunrise and sunset functions where they'll go from all the way across the screen it also help with random clouds weather patterns and that type of thing um, but that's where I'm at right now I'm gonna have more on this sump coming up in the future because the fire is lit now if this tank is actually truly cycled I really have to move because I haven't even fired the skimmer up yet and that's why my nitrates are so high um, I'm, because I'm kind of waiting for it to be cycled so I can drain the sump pull it out make some adjustments on the inside I'm getting a new skimmer which will be a hang on the back and I can then access it from the back rather than trying to reach my hand in there uh, because everything else is nice and close to the front I can get at it it's the skimmer that's giving me trouble right now plus I want to make an adjustment uh, where the on the inlets for water uh, so I'm not getting so much splashing I'm getting a little salt creep in there um, plus uh, I'm not gonna have filter socks because it's just gonna be too hard to remove I'll probably be doing some type of filter floss but I got some great idea how I'm gonna adjust that first chamber in my sump to make it a little more user friendly so thanks for watching uh, thanks for following any input is great comment rate subscribe try to help me get these videos a little bit better thanks have a great night everybody see you next time